guys welcome yet again to another video and today we are going to be talking about fiber optic cores many people have been asking about the fiber optic cores welcome to this talk this talk this is a channel where we talk about businesses we give you tips and insights on how to run start and manage your business and uh, we also talk about online courses and uh, i have been getting questions regarding the fiber optic course and uh, i'm going to answer some of the questions that you have been sending me and one of the questions i have been getting is is fiber optics a good career yes it is because you find that fiber optic cabling as uh, splicing can be a well-paying job particularly for those people with specialized out training and experience and find that the salary for fiber optics uh, cable splices varies depending on the factors such as location where you're located things like experience and the type of employer that you have and then uh, another question is what are the two hard skills that a fiber optic technicians need to have so if you're a uh, fiber optic technician some of the skills that you need is a uh, is you need to have the most common fiber optic technician hard skill is fiber optic cable so we find that 28 percent uh 28 percent of fiber optic technicians have the skills on their resume so you need to have that rest on your resume or as a skill and the second most common hard skill that you need is a uh, fiber optic technician is ladders appearing that is 10 percent you have to know how to use ladders because you are dealing with fiber optics and then another question is is fiber is fiber engineering hard you find that challenges um because many fiber optics the engineers they spend time outside the installing and repairing and providing maintenance for cables you find that uh, they must often be brave for weather like uh, wind things uh, weather like rain or cold so if you want to work with fiber optic cables uh, field you might be well suited for the job if you enjoy being outside and then another question is um how long does it take to learn fiber uh, fiber optics? So if you're interested in doing a fiber optic course at Princeton University College, a short course will take you to uh, one to four months. A certificate will take you eight months. Then a diploma will take you twelve months. And then someone is asking, is fiber optics hard to learn? So you find that fiber fiber, fiber optics for end users for home or business may seem like a brand new concept and uh, people may think it will, uh, it's a complicated thing for beginners to start and engage but in reality uh, you find that it's not utilizing fiber optics for networking can be uh, easy and fast where can you learn fiber optics uh, engineering so you can do this at Finstock University College visit the website at www.finstockuniversity.com or call 0703313722 or send them an email at info at finstockuniversity.com and then another question I have been getting is let me see what qualifications do I need to be a fiber optics so uh, engineer? So if you want to do a fiber optics uh, engineering course at Facebook University College, a short course then you not require any trade. But if you want to do a certificate, you need to have a D minus. If you want to do a diploma, you need to have a C minus at Facebook University College. So if you're interested in doing a fiber optics course at all at Facebook University College, you have seen their website is www.facebookuniversity.com or call them at 0703 313 or send them an email at info at Facebook University. Make sure at the end of this video you like, you comment, subscribe, share, hit on the notification button so that every time I upload a new video you can always be notified. Until next time, goodbye.